Hello everyone, Shadowbash here, back with another Fallout 4. I hope you guys are having a good day, thank you for coming to join me on this lovely Friday morning. So, as you remember in the last episode, we got hold of the course chip, and we've been asked to decode it. So we've now, as you can see at the railroad, um, I'm here to get it all decoded, so let's go talk to Desdemona, and see if we can't get this dealt with. Desdemona. You're from one of those vaults? You got too many teeth to be a scam. Apparently, one hell of a fight took place at Green Tech Genetics. Uh, that was me. I can safely say now that was me. Yeah, that was me. I took down a courser. That's what the report says. Hard to believe. I'm all for one less courser in the world, but the conventional wisdom is that you run from them rather than engage them. So why did you kill him? Uh, Institute code. I needed a courser chip. I need the code on it. You have one of their chips intact? No, Follow I just thought I'd pick up the cyborg. Now. Decoding a courser chip is a very delicate operation. A million things can go wrong. The least of which is losing the data. Fortunately, we have the right man for the job. Hey, Dad. You need something? Tom, we got a courser chip. Whoa! For real? Oh, man, it's been ages! You've hit the jackpot with this. Hand over the chip. Let's see what's on it. Here you go. All right. Tom, make it happen. All right, little course of chip. Let's have the circuit analyzer take a crack at you. We're in. Chip accessed. Just poke the analog connectors a little. What? Oh man, don't, don't don't crash. Hold it together. Memory hiccup. Here it comes. Encryption algorithms. All right, all right, we're still running. Oh man, they've added more decimals to the last cipher. This is gonna be. Come on, baby, show me that pattern. Where is it? Wait, they're using the same logarithmic function as the key generator. Oh man, we got lucky. I got you, you institute bastard. I got you. Software in. Come on. Show me that sweet bass number. Come on, baby. Then we got it. We got the code. <laughs> Let me load that onto the hollow tape for ya. Good work, Tom. Hey, yeah, but I'm not sure our luck will hold up next time, Des. And agent, I hope that helps you as much as you've helped us. Good well, work. There's more going on than you know. Trust me. Right. So now we need to figure out the rest of it. We'll head back to Virgil's cave, all the way over here. Thank God for fast travelling, because otherwise this would take forever to do. I hope you guys are having a good day. Sucking down a lot of rads sticking around here. I uh, hope you're all set for the weekend. I know I am. Oh, there's a death claw. Let's get inside quick before it uh, decides to burst in on us. I wasn't sure I'd see you again. You managed to get what you need? I have the code. Suppose I shouldn't be surprised. You did get rid of Kellogg after all. Not too much of a leap to take down a courser. How'd you manage to get it decoded? Uh, friends. I ain't telling that. I've made some friends in the Commonwealth. Better you than me. A face like this. I'm not going to make too many friends. You're not the only one who's been busy. I did the best I could. From memory and things I've overheard through the years. Came up with some schematics for you. Wasn't easy. These hands are ridiculous. Fine motor skills have gone to shit. Oh well. Here's the symbol explanation. You need to build a device that will hijack the signal the Institute uses to teleport coursers and send you instead. You know the craziest part of the design? That classical music station, that's the carrier signal for the relay. All the data's on harmonic frequencies. You've been hearing it all along. I want to be clear that this isn't my area of expertise. I was bioscience, 
Not engineering or advanced systems or anything. Your confidence is staggering. I'm just saying, I can't guarantee it'll work. But if you can build this device and make use of that code, you should be able to override the signal from the Institute's relay. Can you? I mean, can you build it? You have people can build that it. can help. This is a lot for one person, even you. Oh, I've got it covered, don't panic. I got it covered. Good, good. Because you've got to make it in there. For both our sakes. And don't you forget our agreement. I've helped you as best I can. If you make it in there, you find that serum. It's my only hope for ever being normal. So you find it. Now go on. Take these and get to work. You do whatever it takes. Call on whoever you know to help you. Well, I... Ugh. What the hell aroma is that? I'm going to call on the Minutemen for this, I think. So I need to go to the castle. Oh, I can't fast travel. Oh, because I'm inside. That's why. Let's move. Protect and serve. So let's head on over to the castle and get this show on the road. Never thought the Minutemen would be a force to be reckoned with again. I stand corrected. Well, that's because they are pro. That's why. So now I need to talk to. I think it's Preston I need to talk to. Hi. What do you need, General? Uh. I need help. We need to build a device that can get me inside the Institute. The Institute? Why in the world would you want to mess around with them? They kidnapped my son. Damn. That's some bad business. Even for them. We'll give you whatever help we can. Don't worry about that. Now, assuming you could build this thing, what exactly does it do? The Institute uses teleportation to get in and out. This machine can hijack their signal and send me instead. Teleportation? For real? That would explain a lot about how the Institute manages to operate. If anyone can make heads or tails of those plans, it'd be Sturgis. I haven't found anything yet that he couldn't build or fix. That's true. Right, now we've got to go and talk to Sturgis, which I feel is at the... Which is, yeah, Sanctuary. That's the power armor. I'm going to have to uh, move this, because... <coughs> uh, this will take up a good portion of our base, if I'm not mistaken. Well, I don't actually have anywhere decent for it to go, because as you guys are well aware, um, we have done quite a lot in Sanctuary, so I'm, I haven't been there for a while, so let's see. Well, I personally, in game, I mean, the day of recording this is the 26th of uh, June. Yeah, 26th of June. So, um... By the time you guys get this, it'll be middle of July or end of July. So, if you guys haven't seen it, please, there is a tour video, um, which I will uh, put up right now. And uh, we will, you know, we'll go from there. So let's go and talk to Sturges, where Sturges is on the other side. It's coming in pretty good. Hey. Preston thought you might be able to figure out these plans for me. Sure thing. Let's see what you've got. Uh, here you go. Here you go. Wow. What a mess. Hmm. Looks like, uh, encrypted RF transmissions. Okay, so that gets routed through... What the hell? Teleportation. 
This is some pretty crazy shit. You sure it's for real? Uh, it's real, all right. It's real. I got it from an ex-institute scientist. Seriously? I didn't know you could be an ex-institute anything and still be breathing. Anyway, the eggheads never think about the nuts and bolts of actually making something work. But, uh, looks like it's all here. Yeah, I'm gonna need some time to study this thing. The handwriting's pretty hard to make out. But, uh, you can get started on what he calls a stabilized reflector platform. Uh, it'll need some pretty high-grade metals. But it's basically not that different than the lining of a jet engine or something like that. Good work, Sturgis. Well, don't thank me yet. I think I got the gist of it. But it's gonna take some time to work out the details of some of the hairier sections. Here's a list of what you'll need for the first piece. I'm pretty sure we've got all that at Sanctuary. If you want to build it there. While you're working on that, I'll get busy figuring out how to actually build the rest of this thing. Keep in mind, I can already see this is gonna take a crazy amount of juice. Like if you had a spare nuclear reactor handy, we could probably use it. <laughs> and it's going to be big. Uh, so find a nice new. open building site with lots of power available. Right, let's get building. Just give it a while to kick in. Right, so let's move the beds out of the way because I'm going to build it here. Sorry, settlers, your beds are being moved. For now, it's just temporary. Right, special. So that's, this is the teleportation device. So let's pop that there. Uh, we are going to need power, so... Fortunately, I don't have any of those, so what I will do is probably just slap down a load of these for the time being. That's 15, 20. That should do for now. So let's go back and talk to Sturges a second. I do need to move How's that it going? Back. Did you find a good spot to build your signal interceptor? Yes, I did. Yeah. Ready to build the rest of it. Good. I think I got a handle on this crazy contraption. At least as much as I can tell. Well, until we actually try to build it, here's a list of three things that may be harder to find. I think I'll be able to pull together everything else we're going to need. I'll meet you over at the building site and see if we can actually make this thing work. Oh, we can make it work. No problem. Thanks, Sturgis. I'll get right on this. Good deal. One thing to keep in mind while you're building this, it all needs to be wired together so all the pieces can talk to each other. I'll see you over at the building site. Good luck. Right, let's get on to the next part of it. We're going to need to build that. What I'm going to have to do is probably... Pop you there. Yeah, let's see if I can't just jimmy this around a little bit. That thing's powered up. Relay dish, that's built, that's built. Just need this now then. Which I'm going to chuck here. I think we're all good. Alright, now let's talk to... Gotta make sure we've got enough power. What was that? I'd like to trade some items. Make sure it's all on the same grid. All the parts have got to be able to talk to each other, you know. I have. Um, uh, it's got no power, that's why. Right, I'm with it now. So that's got no power. Uh, yeah, this is going to take a while, isn't it? Um, power, generators...
I have power coming from there, so... That should be powered, that should be powered. There we go. Sturgis. Everything looks good on my end. You ready to see if this thing actually works? Um... Shouldn't we test it first? I wish we could, but we've only got the one frequency code. There's no way to test it without actually jacking into the Institute signal. And as soon as we do that, we've used our one and only chance. As soon as the Institute figures out what we did, and I gotta believe those Brainiacs won't be caught napping twice, that code we've got is useless. I'm not ready yet. Yeah, that's cool. I'll keep tuning this baby. Although we won't know if it's gonna work until we actually try it. So, um, what I'm gonna do is leave the video there because once we get into the Institute, that is where, um, that's obviously gonna be a long, long playthrough and I don't particularly want to do it all now and split it in half because that's just not fair. Um, so when it comes to uh, jumping into the Institute, I want to do it one whole video purely because I don't want to um, cut it halfway through and just call it a day. So, <coughs> anyway, thank you very much for coming to join me today. I hope you guys have enjoyed the video today. Short and sweet because we are slowly going into the Institute and I do not want to be caught uh, short on that. So. Thank you very much for joining me again today. Appreciate you uh, stopping by um, and watching the videos today. Um, if you did enjoy the video, please do leave a like. Uh, by this point, we're at 35 subscribers. We are going up ever so slowly. So these fallout, the fallout videos are getting the job done, which is brilliant. Um, still trying to find out a find another video for a Wednesday. Um, slowly swore, slowly swinging towards like a Minecraft series um, which might be in production by this point or might actually be out by this point not 110% so thank you for coming to join me today if you did enjoy the video please do leave it a like like I said we're going up with some slightly for subscribers and if you have liked the video and you're not subscribed please do subscribe to the channel all helps um, you'll get notified uh, when I'm uploading a video next. And Fallout 4 videos are done every Friday at 10 a.m. Uh, if the times change, you will be notified on the channel. So, if you, like I said, if you do subscribe, you will be notified when I am uploading a video next. Thank you for joining me, t uh, join me, joining me today, and I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Goodbye for now. <laughs>